Boy, those kids really got into it. But sometimes kids can say the sweetest things too, as one Washington Township teacher remembers. One of my favorite episodes on Ask the Mayor was the back to school episode when one of my former students mentioned my name. Yes, Angela, we got a great deal of response from teachers and other folks as well when we ran that back to school segment a few weeks ago. So let's roll a clip again and let you enjoy people's thoughts on which teachers left the biggest impression on their lives. My most favorite memories were of the teachers that were my friends, that instead of going book, you know, page by page in their books, only teaching what was in them, they taught me about their life and the experiences that they learned from the things that they were teaching. And that was what stayed with me. I will always remember my middle school course teacher, Mrs. Cecilio, for always helping out her students and going the extra mile in all of our classes. Teach your children well. Mrs. Murdoff from second grade, she stands out as my favorite because she was very kind, very caring, very patient with all of us students and she made me feel very comfortable in class and I would go back to her classroom any day. Mr. McGinley because he played a lot of games with us and he gave me good grades and he did learning in a fun way. I like all my teachers, Mrs. LaMonica and Mrs. Rue and Ms. Marshawn because Ms. Marshawn was my first grade teacher, Mrs. Rue was my second grade teacher, and, Ms. Mar and Mrs. LaMonica is my third grade teacher. And know they love you. In fifth grade, my favorite teacher, Mr. Fox, had a cute thing that he used to make us do if we should misbehave in class. He would make us write on the blackboard as many times as would fit in. What kind of a school would this school be if everyone acted the fool like me? It's my fondest memory from school being a graduate from St. Lawrence School in Linda Wilds was uh, we had to always have something on our head going to church and if you forgot your beanie they would put a tissue on your head. So to this day I have a special fondness for hats. My favorite teacher is Ms. Zombie because she is funny. Teach your parents well. My most memorable teacher was Mrs. Lucarini. She is an advisor at the high school of the Cow Project and she taught us about community service. Miss Corman, because I was the teacher's pet and I made her laugh. I'll never forget the experience that my older daughter had with Mrs. Knorr at Bell's Elementary School in Washington Township. And we're very excited this year because my younger daughter also has her. I just want to thank Mr. Harrison for Women Elementary School because he, he even though he pushed us a lot, um, it was still worth it. My favorite teacher is Mrs. Addo. I know her since kindergarten. She has a lot of toys. My teacher taught me the ABCs. <laughs> you know, speaking of teaching, you can always learn something on the Ask the Mayor show, and we learn a lot from the feedback we get from you, as Bernadette from the Birches remembers. One of the um, segments that I do remember is the one that we were talking about, the liquor license. And I was very happy that we got a number of different uh, people's opinion. And mine was that um, it shouldn't be sold. And um, I was very happy about it. Of course, Bernadette is talking about the proposed liquor distribution license that would have allowed grocery stores and supermarkets to sell alcoholic beverages in a portion of their establishment. Here's how some residents felt about this proposal back in May of this year. Okay, we don't need liquor being sold in grocery stores. We can very well do without it. Um, there are so many other places you can get it, you don't need it in a grocery store. In Florida, you can buy beer and wine in a grocery store. I don't know about liquor, never tried liquor. You can buy beer and wine in a grocery store in Florida. My opinion is why make it that convenient for them to buy it in any store. And I just want to say that I think they should sell liquor and wine in the grocery stores because it's more convenient to pick it up when you're shopping. I agree about selling liquor in the shopping store in Botinos. I think it's a smart move. The people we polled presented serious views about this issue. Many people were quite opinionated, and so later this summer we announced right here on Ask the Mayor that... But in the end, council decided that the confusion, concern, and divisiveness caused by this ordinance was not a good thing for our town. And so, at June's council meeting, Councilwoman Michelle Martin called for repeal of the ordinance, and she was supported by all of town council. 